News. We're on a brew day. It's August 16th, 2013, and we're going to be brewing an English Pale Ale today. But right now, I'm going to switch this up and I'm going to do a beer review here, too. Um, we got Titan Pale Ale, or Titan IPA, rather, from Great uh, Divide Brewing Company, uh, Boulder, Colorado, I believe. Uh, Denver, Colorado, excuse me. So this comes in at. at at, at something. 7.1% alcohol by volume. Um, I'm going to do it over the sink for a reason. I bought a case of this. This has been chilled heavily. I got it out of the freezer. So we shouldn't have a blow up. This one seems to be pretty good. Now, pretty good. A lot of, lot of fish food in this fucker. A lot of fish food. All that down there is just chunks of sediment, thick sediment. I don't even know if you can, if you swish it around like this, I don't even think you'll be able to stir it up. It's very chunky. So we dump that. We clean it out, we dump it. All right. Still got enough room in my English pint glass to do another one. Open it over here. Okay, that one's got a bit more hiss on it. Okay, top her all the way up. We're gonna top her all the way up because like I said, there's so much of this crazy sediment and stuff that you waste about a third of the beer unless you don't want unless you want to drink the sediment. Um, get it out of there. But that she look there she is. This one's a, it's this one's the, this case got a little day, little uh, age on it. So I don't expect it to be extremely hoppy. Pour it that way. Beautiful, beautiful look. Um, amber and copper. Little head. Mild carbonation going on. Extremely sweet. You can get some of those dark fruit coming out of there. I don't know if it's from the, the uh, crystal hop, a dark roasted crystal hop, but I'm definitely getting some kind of strange dark fruit quality. Switzer's notes. Cheers. It's got a nice mild bitterness to it. Those, um, they, take, they seem almost, I, I'm getting this faint hint of roasted caramels, really burnt caramel, citrus notes, bit of really touch of raisin. That it's got a nice bitterness to it. A little bit of a, almost a twinge of a vanilla, but but not really. It's just twingy of that sweetness. A little bit of carbonation in the mouth <coughs> that I would prefer. But all in all, it's a sweet, sessionable ale. Not a lot going on, but there's a nice residual bitterness going on. But here's the problem. That's why I'm doing this upstairs. Um, a lot of those explode, have been exploding, even if they're chilled, even if this. That's why I've been crash cooling them for almost to the point where they're almost frozen. Um, to open them just in case they don't explode anymore. We, I think maybe out of the case, seven didn't explode so uh, as a whole I'm gonna give the Titan IPA um, I'm gonna give it a six out of ten but I have recommend to you guys that if you want a um, case of it don't get a case get a six-pack just get a six-pack because maybe one of them don't ex won't, won't explode so there you get one at one to drink but uh, just in case, I know a lot of them, if they don't explode, they have overwhelming Belgian carbonation in it where it's just fizz in your mouth the whole time and you, you get like this much head and that much beer. Um, for a good example of what I'm talking about, check out Master Peter the Massive Hobbits 
review of the Titan IPA too, you'll see what I'm talking about. But uh, you know, I'm gonna give it a six. It's not really very good. I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot that I could really get out of that, but I'm not. And uh, some of the flavors I just don't think work well with each other. I'm not really sure. But I'm gonna give it a six though. Definitely check it out. But if you do, don't get a case. Just get a six pack. It's been Paul from PA Brew News. On a brew day. More from me coming up here soon. Cheers.